I noticed there was a lot of interest in the manual pancake machine so I thought I would show you how it works. First you get the, a plate, a large plate, put it on it because uh, it does drip. Uh, you first put the egg. That's because the egg is heavy and it needs something heavy to prevent the dripping from the hole at the bottom. And then the milk. Now I have a channel. Just put the, not too much milk, uh, maybe up to the eight and a half uh, uh, ounce or 300 millimeter and then uh, I was saying I have a, a channel that's called the was the bus life hacks it uh, shows you how to make the perfect pancake because uh, I discovered the secrets to them. Now the secret is uh, th three. First you have to leave the baking soda to the end. You, all, you put the baking soda as the last ingredient and uh, the second is you have to get the right uh, consistency a thick syrup consistency or a slime consistency and uh, the third is you have to use a lot of baking soda i mean a real lot where you have to hold this down because it doesn't screw on the top doesn't screw on so it's necessary to hold on to it it gets some uh, getting used to no, I forgot to put the uh, two minor ingredients a pinch of salt This isn't rocket science. You don't have to measure the ingredients exactly. Now, and some sugar. Gosh, that's enough. Just uh, want to activate it, help activate the ingredients and give it just the slightest sweet flavor. Okay, so random, random go. Now this might seem like a little, after you put the baking soda, it uh, expands a real lot maybe three times its size or more it's still watery put more if you start keep your batter like this watery like this put the baking soda like what when it's watery the pancakes will never cook all the way through, they will remain wet and flat. Not very pleasant, I prefer them to be bread-like. Like the ones you get at the grocery stores. 
Yeah, this is a good, this is a good uh, consistency, I think. Maybe I'll do just a little more flour. Just a tiny bit. Makes quick work of it. A bit messy, but it's a quick pancake batter maker. See? Yeah, that's very nice. Now we get the baking soda, no baking powder, and we put a lot of baking powder in here. Yeah. Just a tiny bit more. That's nice. As a kid, I remember not liking the taste of baking powder, excess baking powder, but I really can't tell anymore if there's excess or not. I'm not sure if that's with age or what. And uh, there, it's ready. Now this is gonna the blow up right to the top. It's just gonna keep going, it's growing in volume, more and more and more. It's gonna be scary and it's gonna be real thick, but it's gonna be real airy, which is what is gonna make really fluffy professional looking pancakes and the uh, ones that absorb the syrup very excellently you can uh, watch it expanding while I prepare the pan carry the plate to this is a very clean operation not too much of a mess not too many things dirtied actually nothing in the preparation of this other than uh, the machine itself And uh, see, it goes, it's uh, still expanding. Now, you want to put uh, the heat. Uh, I like to use this thick aluminum small pan just for uh, pancakes, it works ex excellently. And uh, just uh, you want uh, really low heat because this uh, makes thick pancakes the really fluffy pancakes maybe to a tree level three number three on the stove now watch how it uh, pours the pancakes so perfectly
you keep it centered yeah that's a bit too much okay it's, uh, okay it's hard to get perfectly thick pancakes but see it's well very well yeah, it could have been better but uh, if I had the uh, was using my two hands but uh, there it's really nicely shaped and uh, now let's put it in uh, time-lapse mode so you don't have to wait a few minutes just to for the pancake to be done So this is the end result, two, three normal sized pancakes plus a really large one. And uh, yeah, I didn't use any oil in the pan while cooking these pancakes because it will just present a complication that the oil will burn and then you have to clean the pan all the time. And a uh, very little mess. Uh, at the end I had to, uh, the last bit of batter I had to uh, force it down by turning the whisk. But well, it made really nice looking pancakes as you can see. Now let's see how uh, you clean it, I'll show you how to clean it. I, the kitchen side of my drain uh, clogs up easily, I clean this uh, machine in the shower. Now. Here it is, uh, get the shower, you can uh, wash it out in the garden if uh, it's possible for you, instead of using the shower. Pour it out. The pressure of the shower head helps. Now the whisk. It's good to go, it's ready to be cleaned and a regular kitchen sink now washed with some detergent. Thanks for watching. I like natural syrup with my pancakes and uh, I just eat them by hand, no big deal. Oh man, that's so fluffy. Need some time to soak. Let's see how well it absorbs the 
sure using uh, pastry flour would have made this better but uh, they're very good mm -hmm. that definitely absorb a ton of syrup just like a sponge One of these is definitely enough for a moderate eater.